So today we are going to new topic. So इधर वेरी वाला videos करना ना इट तारी वाला और अब भाग अंगल यान link आई तो कोटे तेरे नंदो you can watch that from the description box. Okay. So today we are going to new topic that is subshell electronic configuration and blocks of elements. Subshell electron विन्यासों को मूल्य अंगल टेक block के गलो. इब तम्मे रोला बंदम इंदार ने नम को नोका. So based on the subshell electronic configuration our elements our 118 elements are uh, categorized into four different blocks based on the subshell electronic configuration so let's see how these elements are uh, categorized into different blocks based on the subshell electronic configuration so let's see that this is one example one is uh, let's see the configuration of hydrogen hydrogen C atomic number one configuration is 1s1 see you can see that the uh, only one electron that one electron is added to the subshell that means this hydrogen is included or considered as s block element look at another example lithium atomic number three configuration is 1s2 2s1 you can see that the last one electron is added to the a subshell so we can say that it is a s block element okay see more example that is boron atomic number five the configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p1 you can see that the last one electron is added to the p subshell hence it is considered as p block element okay look at another example scandium see that the configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d1 see the last one electron is added to the d subshell so hence it is considered as d block element so from this you understood that how the blocks of elements are decided the block of an element is decided the subshell in which the last electron is added okay avasana the electron add cheyna subshell edano adha irikkum oru moolagathinte block ne cheyikunnathu so let's move to the first block of element that is S block. So what is S block elements? S block elements means if the last electron is added to the S subshell are known as S block elements. That means look at hydrogen. Hydrogen atomic number one configuration is one S one. Here you can see the last one electron is added to the S subshell. So it is S block. Clear. Look at another example, lithium atomic number 3 configuration 1s2, 2s1. Here the last one electron is added to the subshell, so it is considered as S block element. Look at another example, magnesium atomic number 12. The configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Can see that the last one electron is added to the S subshell, so it is considered as S block element. So you understood that what is this block? If the last electron is added to the S subshell are known as S block elements. Avasanate electron S subshell ilana one the chair in the dangil ava S block mulangalari. Okay, so in periodic table, what are S block elements? In periodic table, what are S block? In our periodic table, the first and second group elements are S block elements because their last one electron is added to the Yes, subshells. Okay, so the second one is P block elements. So let's say the P block elements. So what is P block element? If the last electron is added to the P subshell, is known as P block elements. Look at some example: boron, atomic number five. Configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. The last one electron is added to the P subshell, hence it is a P block element. Look at another one: oxygen. Atomic number 8, the configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Means the last one electron, the eighth electron is added to the p subshell, so it is a p block element. So, what is p block elements? If the last electron is added to the p subshell, are known as p block elements. What are p block elements in periodic table? In our periodic table, 13 to 18 group of elements are called. Uh, P block elements because their last one electron is added to the P subshell. Okay, so let's move the next block that is D block. 
D block elements. What is D block elements? If the last electron is added to the D subshell are known as D block elements. See some example. One is scandium. Atomic number 21 configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d1. The last one is added to D subshell. So it is a D block element. Look at another one iron atomic number 26 configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6. The 26th electron, the last electron is added to the D subshell. Hence it is a D block element. Clear. So what is D block element? If the last electron is added to the D subshell are known as D block element. In our modern periodic table, 3 to 12 groups of elements. 3 to 12 groups of elements are called uh, D block elements because their last one electron is added to the D subshell. Clear. So moving to the last one if block elements what is if block elements if the last electron is added to the f subshell are known as f block elements clear so namada periodic table il ettum thaale ee 18 group ilum ulpadatha ettum thaale kaanuna rendu rows of elements ettum thaale kaanuna rendu niragalu avayana f block that is lanthanoids and actinoids Lanthanoids and actinoids are called or considered as F block elements because their last electron is added to the F subshell. Clear? So, based on subshell electronic configuration, our elements are categorized into four blocks. But we will clear element different block. So, Note here, see you in next class.